it's not unusual there will there be a little flash off the incisal. Now I got lucky on this one, it's really very clean, but typically there'll be a little flash that comes off and so that's probably happened to some of you. So just take that same blade that we used earlier and you can come in and you can just literally just carve off, off any of the extra composite. Like I can see there's a little bit here on my canine. But if you have any flash on the, uh, like I have a little bit here on the mesial, let me put on my contrastor so you can see that a little better. So then I can come in with my blade and I can trim away if there's any excess, just like that. Now that we have that palatal wall built, if you take a look at your tooth, you're going to see where the peg portion, the pre, you know, the pre-tooth is and where we added the composite. Now, if we were just to add more translucent material in this zone, it would be too translucent and you'd be able to see through and you'd be able to see the shape of the, of the peg. What we need to do is create a more natural tooth form and build those mammalons like what we saw when we were looking at the central incisor. So for that, we need to use our dentin shade or our body shade, which we're using the A1 hybrid. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna add A1 hybrid to the mesial and a little bit to the distal to create the proper tooth form. So if you wanna grab your A1 hybrid, we're gonna use that next. So I'm gonna use my compule and I'm gonna inject my A1 hybrid. It doesn't take very much. Now that's way too much, so I'm gonna blend this onto the facial, but I don't wanna take up a whole lot of space because I need room for the microfill. So using this multi-use instrument, I'm gonna blend it onto the tooth surface, that peg lateral. Then I'm gonna use my IPC instrument to carve away this excess along the proximal. Then going back between the two instruments, Blending it in so it's nice and smooth, removing any excess. And then I keep going back to a clean alcohol gauze to wipe my instrument, take off the excess composite. So creating the mammalon, first mammalon, come around to the second. Now I have to add on to this distal, but rather than injecting with the, uh, the syringe, I'm gonna take a little bit off the pad so I can control that a little easier. So let me get, put a little of my A1 on the pad and then I'm gonna add it right into that area. So we're gonna place some composite, A1 hybrid. Gonna roll it into a little ball. I can use that IPC instrument. Take the portion that I want. And then I can just come in and add Blending it over the facial surface. Again, going back to that multi-use instrument. Blending it into the palatal wall. Using my alcohol gauze to wipe off the excess. And remember, I want to leave room for the microfill over the facial surface, so I cannot overbuild this hybrid layer. So looking from the incisal, making sure that we're leaving room for the microfill. And then blending it into the tooth structure to create as smooth of a surface as possible. All right, once you're satisfied with that, then we can go ahead and cure. Okay, I'm gonna cure this for 10 seconds. All right, 
Build your mammalons, block out, but remember, leave room facially. Don't build over top of that, uh, over that top of that tooth structure where we need the microfill. See you at the next section.